Howdy, YouTube. What's up? What's good? <laughs> All right, welcome, y'all. We are here. I'm your boy Kuba from Sustainability Starts Within. This is your boy Kyle from Raw Vibrant Rejuvenation. And we are fellow healers. We have met through the Robert Morris community. Uh, I just did. Oh, well, we met at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. But we didn't really talk there. Right. But we were both there. Well, we met. Same friends. <laughs> and then uh, I came here to Florida to do the level one Robert Morris uh, Regenerative Detox School of Regenerative Detoxification. And Kyle has already done level one and level two. So he's got his certification. I'm in the process. I just finished the class and I got to do my exam. But we've been hanging out all week while I was at the class. Kyle would come just for fun as a keener. Hang out in the back of the class. Hang out with the students. They like to call me the mascot. <laughs> the clinic people. I love them. So the Morse mascot. Nah, I don't like now. Just, I'm just something. I'm just this spiritual being having a human experience. You know what I mean? That's what we all are. I'm trying. I'm just stay in the light. Um, but yeah, like if you like our videos, comment, like, subscribe. This is going to go on both our channels, I'm imagining. So Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. And this one, uh, this video is going to be about fruit, 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 <laughs> the fruit's role in healing. Yes. So, do you want to dive right into this? We're going to try to keep it at 30 today because I don't like having these part one and two videos and this <laughs> new camera's all weird. And so, we're well, yeah, going to try the, to keep it the at... The reason we thought of this video is because we, we use fruit a lot in our journeys. We eat a lot of fruit. We even juice fruit. We're just all about fruit. And I feel like the average person looking at us might think it's weird or not understand like what's going on, thinking that we're just enjoying it because it's like a snack, a sweet, a sweet pleasure. But it's beyond that. It's like we're doing this because we're basically giving the utmost love to ourselves, our bodies, in, in the healing, you know? So we want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. How does that really work? Right. And veggies do have a role. They do have a role, but at least my channel is about getting yourself um, out of some serious health issues. My channel is just about healing, mind, body, soul, all of it. And the fruit is just a lot more powerful. Try it. You'll you'll find out. It's it's powerful. It's um, you know if you don't have a serious um, health issue going on, then. It's not, it's not always a good idea to go right on the fruit because it is so powerful and you know, the common man or woman will misunderstand what's happening because the fruit's going to show you your weakness. It's going to pull at you and it's going to, it can make your, your issues worse for a short period of time. That's why I heard so many people say that I tried the fruit thing but it's not for me because they didn't feel good and they, they had to stop because they say that the fruit made them not feel good. Exactly. Whereas if you know what we know, mm -hmm. you learn what we learn and experience what we learn, what we experience, it's not the fruit, it's everything that's inside of you from before, from past bad habits. And then the fruit just starts moving stuff around and releasing that old stuff. So as it's releasing and going through you, lots of stuff happens and you get some symptoms from that. Basically like the toxins get released and if they're in your body, especially if you're not eliminating them right away, you they might start getting reabsorbed, like they might get released from different parts of the body and then as they're passing through your digestive tract, you might feel that. So it's not the fruit, it's the fruit that's releasing the old that you're feeling as it's passing through you. So the key is to get that out of you. Mm -hmm. Totally. And the whole thing, like when I tell people that I've been helping, and just what I tell anyone who, who's asking about this, um, you got you got to get you got to get educated. That's what it comes down to. You gotta you gotta really understand this because if it's if you're not educated and you don't really understand what's happening, you're gonna feel lost. You're gonna feel like like it's not working. Like it's actually like my grandma. She thinks that she's allergic to certain fruits. No, grandma, that's not the case. You're just very very toxic. Your lymphatic system is clogged. Your kidneys, I guarantee, are not filtering. You know what I mean? And we'll, we should get into the kidneys and uh, lymphatic, lymphatic uh, soon. But 
Yeah. Yeah, to give context. Yeah. To give, yeah, right. So. Let's get into it now. Um, <laughs> let's do it now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want to, you just, well, you just like, took... Yeah, because I mentioned that um, the fruit helps release stuff and bring it through you. So, so to get it out of you, you got to make sure that the lymphatic system, which is basically, the simplest way to explain it is the sewer system of the human body where the toxins get dumped. So the human body only has two liquids, the blood and the lymph liquids, the lymphatic system. So the blood dumps toxins, make sure that toxins go in the lymphatic system because the blood needs to stay clean and alkaline. So the lymphatic system is where the acidic side of chemistry goes and makes sure that things flow out of you, the, like the sewer system. And then we have four organs of elimination. So we got the bowels, the the kidneys, the liver, no, what is it, the bowels, the skin, the kidneys, and the, the lungs. skin, and the lungs. So those are the four places you want to eliminate. And for me, I feel the bowels is very simple, and the kidneys is like the next evident thing. You want to get stuff out of you through there. Because whatever doesn't come out of the kidneys will start coming out of your skin, and that's where you see rashes and, and skin issues. That's just toxins trying to come out of your skin. Mm -hmm. When you're coughing out phlegm or sinuses, your sinuses are clearing. That's really your lungs taking out mucus and the toxins in the mucus through your lungs. Right. Yeah. And the kidneys and the skin, they're like one thing. If the kidneys or the skin are blocked, either of them, then you're going to have issues with with the one that's not blocked. That, gonna, mean, that means the toxins are staying they're inside stuck, you. you know? Stuck. And the same thing with like, you know, the transverse colon and the, and the uh, you know, the mental ability and the fatigue and all this stuff and the, the GI tract, it's just hand in hand. It's just, um, and, and, and GI tract and the, and, and the, um, the lungs being able to, but sometimes stuff's just going to come out of you no matter what. If you're really, if you're really plugged up, it'll come out of anywhere. It'll come out of your pores. You might have tumor. You might have all these uh, boils. You might have... Uh, rashes, you might have arthritis, all these diseases that they make up, and there's only one disease, guys, mucus, mucus, which is toxicity, toxicity, toxemia, that's mucus, that's what the up. mucus holds, is the toxins, mm -hmm. the body, when it's eating these mucus forming foods, these acid forming foods that we're, that he was talking about, uh, which are primarily, you know, dairy, meat, uh, and all grains, not just gluten. So like when you are eating this stuff, your body, to protect you, creates mucus. And trust me, I've seen it in every possible way. Come, I, I've seen it and it happens. Stop eating the cooked food, go on raw, come back, you'll see it every time. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like the lymphatic system, I did want to mention one thing just because I don't know who's, who's going to be watching this, if there's any new new uh new people who are new to um the power of fruit it's it's just kidneys need to drain you're not once you start actually filtering once you next time you gotta pee pee in a jar and see if there's sediment see if there's mucus or flake snowflakes type stuff uh if you let it sit that's the easiest way if you don't see it when it just comes out and you shake it um, if you don't see that sediment you're in trouble. You're in trouble because that's your metabolic waste. And that needs to come out of your body. That needs to come out of your system. Because otherwise, you're just getting, you're just getting, uh, 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 clogged with it. And that's what a tumor is. A tumor is lymphatic fluid. It's a pimple. When you pop it, that is your lymph fluid. And that is your body's, you know, your body's going to make a tumor here or there or there to protect the, like, your heart and the, crucial areas of your body, your, your crucial organs and glands. And um, so it's just important. And I don't know if you meant, I don't think you mentioned it yet, but 75% um, of the fluid in your body is lymph fluid. Only 25% is blood. Yeah, and blood yeah. is important. Blood is important, but it's just because blood this is isn't main... important for the functioning of the yes. body and, and keep you alive and all that. But yes. it's the, the lymph is important to to move right so that things are getting out of here yeah yeah i just yeah. i really need my hat because the sun oh yeah get the hat yeah <laughs> yeah that's why i have my glasses on because i'm detoxing and sometimes 
when I'm detoxing, I'm really sensitive to the sun, so. Um, I just feel like my eyes are closed from the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just like, just because this stuff isn't well known doesn't mean that it ain't the truth. I mean, look what's going on. Is stuff working? No, they can't cure anything. Most, like, they don't so even know what causes sick. anything. Too many people accept a sickness or a disease and just put that label on themselves and think that's what they, they got for the rest of their lives and have to take medication forever. Which honestly is a little bit bullshit. Like, we're not designed to be sick. We're this beautiful life that's, that was created by some magical force. And I don't think that magical force is like, oh, I'm going to create this perfect, beautiful life so that they can suffer in sickness. It's like, it doesn't make no sense. And nature is not meant to suffer in sickness. But think about all the food we eat. Like, how many people out there have never eaten a, a burger or fries or candy or chips? Like, why does that stuff even exist? Like, it's, it's full of so many ingredients that like some of them we can't even pronounce it's not like straight from nature you know it's like modified stuff created in factories and and that's what we consume and then we're like not understanding why we're sick and we're told that is nothing to do with the food we eat which makes no sense our body is just the food when we eat the food it becomes our body so it's just like that's what Sadhguru says you take a piece of earth whether it's your bread or fruit or whatever you're eating it becomes your body and whatever doesn't become your body is stuck in your body or or needs to get eliminated because it's, it's not going to do anything it's not going to become your body because it's not natural it doesn't it doesn't jive with the chemistry of your body but so many of us have that in us and I grew up my whole life till I was 27 eating not understanding at all what's going on and then I couldn't correlate why I would be fatigued why I would have no energy why I would get sick randomly throughout the year yep. like, it's like, oh, you caught a cold because of the wind or because it's cold out. But the food, like, we're never told or educated about that. Exactly. And I'm honestly, that makes exactly. me really frustrated. Really frustrated. But we found this beautiful path and I guess we don't have to be too caught up on the negative, focus on the positive and wow, the progress that me and this guy have been making this last couple of years, it's just been incredible by drinking juices for days, by drink, eating just fruit, and we feel amazing. I'm in my 30s now, you're in your 30s, and I feel like I'm newborn. I feel like I'm younger than when I, when I was in my 20s. I feel like I'm more energy now. And it's just like, <clears throat> so simple. Like eating the most beautiful fruit off the trees, most beautiful food I wanted to say, you know? Yeah. It's so appealing, so bright, so vibrant, and it makes me feel that way. <laughs> And it's just like, why did I not know this earlier in life? Like, why are we not taught this in school or right. from our parents? Our parents don't even know this stuff. Right. So what is real food? It's fruit. You can have a fruit meal. You can eat a meal of just fruit. That's 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 food. That's real food. It's fast food. It's Think original what, fast what's food. What's the most appealing in nature? Fruit. There's fruit. There's vegetables. There's herbs. There's nuts. There's seeds. There's roots. There's right. shoots. There's all this stuff. Yes. But think about if you, you didn't have access to technology like all other animals and you're eating just your natural species specific diet, mm -hmm. what would you be attracted to? You probably wouldn't even go to the vegetables and dig mm -hmm. them under the earth when you mm -hmm. got fruit trees around. Right. Like fruit is the most appealing food in nature, hands down. Totally. And it's the only food that doesn't want you to eat it. Even vegetables don't, don't really... want you to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's the only one that wants you to eat it. Even vegetables, have, you know, they're not hate, they're not saying here eat this, and they're not calling you color with colors, colors, and it's uh, you're drawn to these these and the fruits. fruits like fall off the tree. Yeah. So you don't even have to like kill nothing. Right. Or hurt anything. Yeah. And why are the fruits so much more powerful and energetic uh, than vegetables? Why are you asking me? Sure. Yeah. Because they're full of sunlight energy. So is vegetables, so is everything on this planet. Right. But they're also full of water, structured water, very hydrating, yes. similar to the percentages that the human body is made up of. And fiber. And so then fiber. Fiber is the earth. That's basically the earth. That's the rest of us. That's the physical that you see, the matter. But the, the water, we got so much water in the human body and there's so much water in the fruit. And then what's the other element? What's the other aspect? Oxygen. 
fruit is full of oxygen and yes. it oxygenates yes. every cell in the body. I'm glad you brought it. It allows up. oxygen to flow and we get the oxygen to every organ. There's more than just fruit, there's so many aspects of lifestyle, but it just fruit is a really, really easy way to get all those elements. And yeah. the oxygen is, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fruit is just so, it's, it's, it's magnetic. I mean, it pulls it pulls us to it when, when our eyes catch it these colors it's like magnetic and it's electrical and we are electrical beings we need to have nourishment real true nourishment and when you haven't had it for your whole life practically for a lot of people it's going to take some time to get used to that again to remove all that crap but the fruit is so important for that that it's so useful for that because it's astringent it pulls it pulls it, not everyone can just jump on a long water fast especially when you're really neurological weak when you have nerve issues and you got super burnout adrenals you can go on the fruit and you can you can be healing as and you're not having to take a month off work to do a water fast and I love water fasting and all that but but it's just the fruit is well, think about other foods. Well, you want to finish your point? Well, other vegetables are good too. I mean, they're they're really good. If you can go at a, you know, like we were saying earlier, if you can go, if you don't have some life-threatening, uh, just you're not clogged lymphatically, you don't have all these diseases, then go on the veggies too, because it's going to be a lot more enjoy. It's going to be a lot more even keel. It's not going to be as intense, and you'll be able to deal with be able to get a better hold on stuff but not everyone can do that i wasn't able to do that i had to go right on the fruit bam i was forced to do it so um but, well, well yeah, i was going to say other foods say. as like most people when we think of other foods we think of foods that we cook and when you cook the food think about how how much how slow it goes through you when it doesn't have all that water and all that oxygen it's just like kind of getting exactly. stuck in you. Good point. Think about like animal flesh has no fiber. It just kind of, if you don't have fiber to push it through, like what's going to push it through? Like gravity very slowly? Nothing, because mucus <laughs> is going to say what's going on and it's going to cover that up to protect you. The mucus, yes, that's how it forms. And now you got treasures, deposits stuck in you. Yeah, <clears throat> protecting you, protecting you essentially. Protecting you, but... But you just build up more and more and more and it gets harder and harder to protect because that mucus just takes kind of takes over and like it's too much of it for the body to handle over time and that's when tumors and things come out but the fruit what it'll do is that food that's stuck in you because the fruit is so water rich it'll basically start pushing stuff take like think about if your pipes are clogged and you run liquids down the pipes it'll start like going into crevices that solids don't get into and it'll like start pushing things out well that's what fruit does because it's so hydrating it'll start pushing things out of crevices that are stuck so that that's kind of how it works and as it's pushing it out things are releasing the mucus is falling off of it off of the intestinal walls and different areas and it starts coming out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. totally the I, th I would like to mention yeah for anyone you guys who's um, getting newer to this stuff some good books I think maybe some good material Arnold Aaron Mucus's Diet Healing System I always system. recommend that and first. His Rational Fasting yeah, it's, it's a good one to go to it's simple it's easy it's to the point and boy yeah it really explains what this is and um, other books that I would say you know all a lot of the natural hygienists were really good a lot of them here were Carrington um, Shelton uh Hilton Hotima is really good, but he. But if you're not you're not super open-minded yet, don't don't get into him. I don't know if you've read any Hilton Hotima, but he says stuff in the ways that it's just so. Uh, the way that he is able to put it on to, into words, it's amazing. Uh, he talks a lot about breath, breath and other things like that. You know what I'm saying? So. Cool. Hilton, 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 Hilton Hotima, yeah, Hilton you gotta Hotima. check them out. Well, any any other books or any uh, any other resources that have 
Well, I, I've read one, I'm not sure how you feel about it, but it's Dr. Doug Graham's 80-10-10. Uh-huh, yeah. Which is, uh, like, today I might not follow exactly 80-10-10, but, like, that mm -hmm. book really helped me understand a lot about the fruit and vegetable diet. Mm -hmm. Now, it's really focused on calories. I'm more focused on life force nowadays. Yeah. But it, it really opened my eyes and helped me understand right. how this fruit diet works and eating mainly fruit. Yep. It's a, it's a really good one. I think for the average person, it's great. For me, the first book I read was, it's not a fruit Thing. It was a crazy sexy diet by Chris Carr. But that was more like if you're if you're not vegan and you want to learn about how an alkaline diet works, even if you use some cooked food, then that's a great start. The crazy sexy diet. But if you want the next level, you got to go to Arnold Errett and, and the sources that Kyle was mentioning. Like Arnold Errett, mucusless diet. It's just so clear on what that means—a mucusless diet versus a mucus forming diet. So fruit is a is a food that's mucusless so it won't produce any mucus whereas other foods produce mucus so yeah th yeah that's all I can think of for now I'm, I'm in the process of reading Rational Fasting by Arnold Errett <laughs> it's a good one yeah and uh, Norman Walker is a good yeah. one He's talking about fasting all the, all and distilled water and even Paul Bragg you know Paul Bragg and I would also mention a couple other names. Tilden and Troll. What is his name? Is he, yeah, yeah, just a bunch of guys. There's a lot of books. There's a lot of good material out there. And there's a lot of people who have been raw for a while and follow them. You guys know who they are. <laughs> you know, you mm -hmm. guys know who they are. Follow those guys. Actually, let's name, let's name some of the older Gs. Cause oh, yeah, there's so many. I see it right now on YouTube. It's crazy with like the whole carnivore thing. I don't want to put too much emphasis on that because... I'd rather focus on the on the alkaline side of chemistry, but people are really confused and lost. And and this uh, the the young generation today, YouTube is more of the young people, the 20 year olds, 30 year olds, and we're confused. But like, so let's go to the 60 and 70 year olds who've been doing this for 20 plus years. Let's see their results. Let's see how they're doing. Let's learn from them. That's what I recommend. And right off the bat, I can tell you, Lou Corona, he's in his 60s. He looks like he's 40. He hasn't touched cooked food in what 30, 40 plus years or something. Forty something. Forty it's something. Probably fifty. Right like now. that's what I'm going to. I'm going to. Incredible. John Rose. John Rose. Same thing. Sixties, stronger than I've ever been in my prime. Mm -hmm. um, who else is there? Dr. Robert Morris. Obviously, we're learning from him. Mm -hmm. Detox Miracle Source book is his book that describes this whole alkaline mm -hmm. diet. Eris Latam. Eris Latam. Yeah. Big dude, also like okay. 60s, 70s, been doing this for for many, many years. Ann Osborne. Ann Osborne, fruitarian. Yes, she's she's like she's a really hardcore fruitarian. She's done she's done like peach islands, melon islands, juice islands, and like months of one type of fruit. Yes. So she's really connected in this, and she's a beautiful, beautiful, glowing, glowing being. Yeah. Fully raw Christina, obviously, and of course Dan McDonald, the life regenerator. So. See, Dan, we gotta learn from all of those dudes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta learn from the best. You know, that's how you can be successful. Because everything is, everything is influenced by everything else. We're all one. You know. And uh, we're all just finding each other. Again. Yeah. What are you thinking, brother? Oh, uh, we got about eight minutes. -ish. I would say um, I don't know if we were gonna dip into transitioning or we were gonna talk. We talked about. I don't know. What do you think? Let's just take a second. To you know what we should do one day? We should do a video live and get people to just send us questions. Yeah, that would be cool. Them live. That would be cool, for sure. Because I'm sure as for sure as people are watching this, they're probably like mm -hmm. having questions come up. Mm -hmm. We want to know specific things. Right. We know, we know so much. We've been like in this for a while. Yeah. That it's like sometimes it's like, what should we focus on? You know. It's hard to, to, to get all of it in in a 30 minute video. You know, it really is it's so hard. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's it's. I guess I'll just mention this. Get the, if you are doing this or if you're preparing to do it, make sure you get some support. Make sure. Uh, yeah, we should talk a little bit about the emotional stuff because it can get so heavy. Everything is stored in your cells, your emotions, your traumas, things you may have not 
dealt with. And so when you're scrubbing, when you're cleaning the house on the physical level, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but stuff's going to come up. Stuff's going to come up. So be prepared. Be prepared and, and do the work. Do the work 110% of the work. Because stuff that can come up, at least for me on my journey, has been gnarly stuff, guys. So try to have some sort, sort of a support system. Go to the fruit festivals. Go to um, some herbal classes. Meet some kind of... Um, High vibe, light, yeah, light. The, the fruit festivals is what them. really helped me change yeah. my life. Because I was trying to do this, and I was the only one in my life, in my immediate circle, doing it, and it was hard. Right. So hard, and mm -hmm. even just like I was just like I had to go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival to meet my meet my people. And since then, my life has just been different. I have I found my friends. I realized how alone, how not alone I am. Like how many people I have. Exactly. Even start, like, if you're in a place that is uh, kind of far from these big cities, starting, like, a meetup group, like a raw food meetup group or a fruitarian meat, whatever you're doing, fruit-based diet meetup group, anything. Raw got, vegan potlucks. Yeah. It's, it's, so, it's so nourishing. It really is. What else about the fruit, man? What else? Well, maybe, maybe we should help them transition. Yeah. Maybe some people out Quick there... Tips. Some people out there are like, oh, that sounds cool, but like, how do I start? Like, I can't imagine just eating fruit, just fruit for every meal, every meal. You know, you could just start with doing a mono meal of fruit for breakfast or a juice for breakfast. Just That's little things. Well, yeah, we should talk about mono meals, um, especially if you're having GI issues. Um, and you're, What's a mono meal? A mono meal of fruit? is when you just eat one type of fruit. Maybe you eat six six uh, mangoes or seven peaches, whatever it is. And you, believe it or not, it's the most divine thing in the world, especially when you're yes. just right there with it and you're uh, using, uh, using this nourishment, this food as a meditation, as a, medita and a, as a, a mindfulness practice, you know? So, but the thing is, is it takes a lot of energy off the, di the digestion, and it because the body is like, oh, I don't, do I have to get this? And when you eat like ten different ingredients, a hundred different ingredients, sometimes your body's like, oh, I need to get, huh, okay, insulin, and the pancreas is like, what's this? And, then, and it's like, and then the gallbladder's got the fats, and, and then you got, oh, what enzymes? Huh, what do I need for this? But when you just have one fruit, and you do that, maybe do like an island where you go a week on. A, grapes or whatever it is you get you um it, it simplifies everything yeah simplicity in the healing process it's the key it's the key everything every food every ingredient moves at a different speed through your digestive tract so when you're eating one fruit that's all one consistency it's that one consistency is going through you and it's just like it's very easy on the body just going through you at that same speed it's not like you said different things doing different the body needs to work differently for different ingredients right and as it's going it's just kind of pushing things down that are beneath easily mm -hmm. and then it's just like those seven peaches really are pushing stuff through the colon nicely at a nice consistency yeah so you might get gassy and you might be like we're running to the toilet Try two days on peaches, I bet you you'll go to the toilet like ten times. <laughs> and One, you might think that's bad, but that's great. Right. Embrace that. Enjoy the toilet. Enjoy that moment on the toilet. One thing that we didn't bring up that's very important about the fruit is a lot of people think that they're getting gassy from the fruit because they just put the, uh, they just uh, ate fruit for dinner after they had like a steak and potatoes dinner. It's the wrong way. It makes me gassy. Food combining is key. <laughs> Learn about the food combining. We don't have time to address that, but but what's happening is the fruit is hitting these 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 pockets of stuff that the serpent that is inside your GI tract, and it's and it's making making gas from that. Because fruit alone, if you're clean, you're not going to ever trust me because I was bloated for years of my life. You're never going to have gas again if you're pure inside and you're eating just fruit and vegetables. But when you're not clear, clean enough. It's a key point. So the serpent, serpent, <laughs> which is basically just like 
mucus that has built up for years and it just becomes like rubber yeah. inside of you. Every every person has how many meals do you think uh, built up inside of you? John Rose says 12 to 15 meals back right, up. Right, right. Average person. Even if you're not overweight, you might understand. You might not understand. You might think that's impossible. Right. But stop eating food and just drink liquids for a few days. Yeah. And tell me when you stopped going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> right. So as far as transitioning, um, it's just steps, guys. Just take steps. Yeah, I always say just just add more fruit. You don't have to. You don't have to change. You don't have to leave all your old habits behind in one day. Just start your day with fruit. You always want to break a fast with fruit. After that, if you still want to eat the other stuff, okay, but first eat the fruit. Right. Every day do more, and then you'll see over time, you're, you're just replacing bad calories with the fruit. Yeah. And you'll have better bowel movements in the morning. If you start with fruit in the morning or when you break your fast, and you go to the toilet, you're going to have a better energy all day because nothing's just sitting inside of you. Well, at least not that meal that's supposed to come out will not be sitting in your colon. You got it out. You've got more energy to do other things instead of your energy being all in your digestion all the time. So just do some more, some more fruit in the morning. Just eat some peaches, eat some melons. Right. Eat your favorite fruit. Do a little fruit salad. Get a smoothie and make a little juice. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Just add it more. At lunch, just have steps. a salad if you can't handle fruit. Just baby steps. Sometimes you will even notice. You will notice so much progress from just little baby steps. Yeah. And I don't think we. So this isn't about transitioning. I, uh, and we, we should keep it. We're good here. I don't think you have anything left to say. But guys, just like I said again, I have to. I'm like a broken record because baby steps in this process and be kind to yourself, love yourself, don't get down on yourself for messing up with whatever program you're on. Um, and if you got questions, uh, we're here for you. Comment, uh, like we said earlier. Um, yeah, uh, comment hit us below. up on, on the social media. I'm on Facebook and he's on. Instagram and Facebook. And Facebook. So, uh, yeah, could be anything else you want to say? Yeah, just want to say, yeah, comment below if you if you're not sure about something. I'm sure other people can contribute their experience and just have a discussion. Going, right, you know? and y'all can learn from that. You know, you guys can learn from each other. We're trying to build a big community here, so we yeah. love you guys. Yeah, we love you. We That's this, why we're doing this for you. We're doing this out of the love, like we we are we're all about this message. And we want to know that you're not alone. If you feel alone, you're not. Like, we're here. You're come, never alone. Come to the festivals and hang with us. Yep. We'll be at a lot of them. Yep, and learn how to go in, too. If, and go in more if you already are. Because sustainability starts with it. Exactly. <laughs> you're never alone. Just go inside. It's true. And come to the fruit festivals and your life's going to blossom. We love you guys. So much love. All right. Cool. Thank you. Yeah.